In the year 1946, a Muslim Buginis family of four emigrated from their homeland of Sulawesi, Indonesia. This is Sulaiman. He is a fisherman. This is Mariani. She is Sulaiman's wife. This is Rudin. He is their son. This is Alia. She is their daughter. This family moved to the land beyond the sea, Johor of Tanah Melayu, where they molded in their heart they will lead a better life and a promising future in this new home. Every other Friday, Sulaiman would prepare himself to walk to the mosque located outside of the village and he would invite Haji Azman to join him as well. Each time, Haji Azman would never be seen around his house. However, without fail, Sulaiman would invite Haji Azman to go each Friday. Ready? Ready? Yes. Uh, I'll be going ahead to the mosque now. Okay. Take care. Bye. Sulaiman would invite Haji Azman to join him as he walked to perform the Friday congregational prayer at the mosque outside of the village. However, Sulaiman came earlier than he used to and he was shocked to witness Haji Azman muttering a recitation unheard of before. La Taken aback, Sulaiman scurried to the mosque. Something bothering my mind. Actually, I went to Haji Azman's house today. Uh, as usual, I wanna invite him to the Jumu'ah Jumu prayer. Mm -hmm. Then, as I approached him, I heard that he was chanting a zikr that is different from how I know. It is as if he is not a Sunni. See, I told you about it. For not believing. So, what are you going to do about it? So, yeah, I plan to investigate this matter and I will get to the bottom of this. The next morning came and Sulaiman heard a huge commotion in the village. A celebration occurred in Kampung Tasik. The fishermen returned home early to help with the preparations. When Mariani asked her friends about the celebrated guest, they only mentioned that it was an important public figure from Penang. Sulaiman asked his friend, who would come to our tiny fisherman village? His friend answered, this man is a very special person. He would bring fortune to our village. Lyman saw the gigantic banner hung lavishly across the multiple canopy and tried to read the Chawi wordings. Then the Nabi Taslim. Then the Nabi Taslim appeared. Thanks all of you for inviting me. Worry not. 
for your places in Jannah has been promised by me, your final passenger. Sulaiman wanted to know more from Haji Azban. On a Friday night, Sulaiman sat across Haji Azban to learn about Taslim teachings, despite being rejected at first. Now I will teach you about our holy religion. Okay. Keep it up to me. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Sulaiman kept a journal about Taslim teachings that he learned from Haji Azman. It has been three months before Haji Azman reveals something. Reminded about his research, Sulaiman agreed. Okay then, things I'm ready. Sulaiman prayed to Allah to give him strength. Together with Haji Azman, they embark on a journey to Kampung Surono, Penang. Mariani couldn't explain why, but she had this bad feeling. Took a week to reach Kampung Surono by foot, and Sulaiman was praying that the journey would go faster with each step. He gave lame excuses so he can perform the daily prayers secretly. Hi, Jasmine. How much longer will it take? We've been walking for a few days now. You should We will arrive there soon. It was exhausting, but they continued their journey. Before they realized it, they finally arrived at their destination. Kampung Sorono of Pini. The next morning came as Sulaiman waited for his turn. He was trembling with fear. As Yvonne killed, the Nabi appeared. This day would come, but he still disliked it a lot because he knew what he would be drinking in this ceremony. It is the blood of a black dog's liver. 
as he watched the person before him gulp down the blood, he saw the Nabi's look of approval. Then, it was his turn. Sulaiman reached for the glass hesitantly. He could feel the Nabi's eyes on him. He took a sniff of the blood, and before he knew it, he fainted. Suleiman? Suleiman? Huh? Wake up. This ceremony is okay. Huh? Really? Why do you think I should accept him into our religion? He fainted during the ceremony. This is in your honor for our religion. Okay then, I'll be my trust in you. Thank you. Sleman returned home seven days after. Sleman was happy to finally be back at home. What welcomed him was Mariani's somber face. Mariani? Look, it's very nice out here. Yeah. Why aren't you happy? You look sad. No. Aren't you happy to see me back? Well, I have something. With heavy hearts, Marani confessed about her confrontation with Anwar and how the men threatened her and their daughter to harassment. What? How dare they? Mariani, don't you worry. I'll end the catastrophe that's happening in this village. His sacred religion was ridiculed and manipulated, and now his family had been compromised by them. Shaking with anger, he brought with him his journal to Pajabat Agama Johor and submitted his report to his first cousin to the world. He met Ustaz Ali. So, what brings you here, Mr. Suleiman? Actually, I have something grave to tell you. And with me, I bring this journal as a proof. The Pak Wahab and Ali Azul. Are you sure? Do you know who they are? They fought the British for us. They fought for Tanah Melayu. You are an outsider. How are we supposed to know? No, it's true. I witnessed it myself. After a few considerations, Ustaz Ali decided to meet the villagers. an air of relief when he saw that the villagers had begun to perform the daily prayer.
yeah so this is my prom <laughs> a guy so yeah mm, yeah it did <laughs> thank god <laughs> finally so yeah <laughs> okay bye bye <laughs>